CataractCoach.com. What is hiding in this picture? You have to figure it out. Otherwise, you're going to need to return to the operating room. So let's look at the case. Now, I have sped the video up. It's three times normal speed. I just want to show you that our guest surgeon here is doing a good job of taking out this cataract, horizontal chop. Everything looks pretty routine. So I want to show you that it looks like a pretty routine case. But, you know, there are times where that routine case can be a little bit out of the ordinary. And so we've got to be vigilant and watch for any potential issues. So removing the cataract, last bit of the nucleus coming out there looks pretty good. And that looks great. Now, a little bit of iris prolapse with the paracentesis, not a big deal. Push that back in. Looks pretty routine. A little bit of viscoelastic going inside the eye. Capsular bag looks great. Nice looking rexus. Pretty routine case. Time for some bimanual cortex removal. So watch carefully. That goes pretty well. I've still sped the video up. We'll slow it down in just a moment. So again, cleaning up here, polishing the capsular bag. Switching hands to get full access to the capsular bag for 360 degrees. Looks great. Looks like a routine case here. Yeah, a little bit of iris prolapse. Let's slow down the video here. Again, there's that iris prolapse. That goes back in the eye. Do you notice an issue yet? What's there? What's that? Now, our surgeon here, Dr. Bavesh, he noticed it. And look what is that. That's a huge chunk of nucleus hiding there under the iris. And I pushed it around a little bit, and you'll float it out. Look at that piece. Now, if you had left this piece in the eye, I wouldn't blame you. It can happen to any surgeon. Sometimes these pieces can hide under the iris. You don't see them. But by being real vigilant there and looking carefully, sometimes you can notice that ahead of time. And so now you can go in and you can remove the, the nuclear piece or that chip of lens fragment after the eye walls and the capsule bag. Or you can remove it now by using the phaco probe one more time and delivering a little bit of burst of energy and the piece should come right down into the probe. Pretty easy. You could also put the eye on the bag first because you've already filled things with viscoelastic. That may make it easier. So now you're pretty sure everything is gone. So here comes the lens. Rest of the case is pretty routine. So I want to talk to you about a few things and that is what is the incidence of retained lens fragment with cataract surgery? Well, Believe it or not, it can be about 1% or so. And for a high volume surgery, that means, you know, every so often, a couple times a year at the least, you'll go back and see a retained lens fragment on post-op day one. Now, what ends up happening is even if it's a small lens fragment under the iris, you may not see it initially, but those lens fragments tend to swell up. As they're there floating around in aqueous, they tend to swell up and get larger, and then they can drop into the visual axis. And sometimes we'll see these inside the eye in the inferior angle of the anterior chamber. And they even can, can induce some focal corneal edema there. And so keep that in mind. Lens fragments are a normal part of cataract surgery. We normally break up the cataract, right, and do lots and lots of tiny little pieces and then emulsify them down. And we can get retained lens fragments. So it's not a big deal. If it's a small enough retained lens fragment, you could probably just wait till it absorbs in the ca inflammatory cascade. You can also hit it with a YAG laser to break it up into smaller pieces, right? Because crushed ice melts faster than a cube of ice. But that's only for smaller pieces. If it's a significant sized piece, probably the easiest just go back to the operating room and just and take the piece out of the eye. And so in a case like this, you want to make sure that there's nothing left remaining in the eye. And so after the lens is inserted here, we've talked about doing an angle sweep technique. That helps, but again, it's not foolproof. 100% of us, we're all going to end up from time to time having a retained lens fragment. It's great if you can notice it at the time of surgery and therefore prevent the return trip to the operating room. But if you can't and you need to go back to the OR, you know, it's not that big of a deal. We can handle it. Thanks for watching.